My name is Emma Dalton Brown. I'm a professional writer, but I'm also an advocate for fighting against sexual abuse towards men, women and children. Towards the end of last year, the hashtag MeToo movement came into play as we know it, thanks to actress Alyssa Milano. However, the MeToo movement was actually started by Tarana Burke of the nonprofit organization Just Speaking 10 years before. That was off the back of when a young girl came to her in 1997 and told her about her story of abuse. 1997 was the year many of my friends and I were turning 22. It was the year I got my first email address and my first cell phone. In those days, you could not access the former with the latter. There were no smartphones, there was no social media at all. So as a young lady, I had no way of knowing that sexual harassment and abuse was a worldwide problem. In fact, I don't really understand, I didn't really understand where the lines were supposed to be drawn. 2017 has made history due to the phenomenal amount of women who stood up and spoke up about their experiences with sexual harassment, molestation, abuse, and assault. The perpetrators have finally had to answer to their actions. This is only the beginning. There is a long road ahead of us and your generation is going to help us get to where we need to be in the world. A world in which girls and boys, women and men, treat one another equally and with decency and respect. So how do we do that? It starts with the understanding of what consent means. So right here today, I'm here to speak to you about consent and I'm fighting against sexual abuse. Stand up and speak. Principles of consent to sex. Consent cannot be obtained through force, coercion, threats, nor misrepresentation. So you can't say, if you don't have sex, this will happen, you will not be cool, or anything like that. Consent can be revoked at any time. You're a young girl, you're about to have sex with your boyfriend, you want to have sex with your boyfriend, you've spoken about it. You're absolutely convinced, you might even be naked but you can take away your consent anytime you want. The boys listening and the men listening, please take heed to that advice. Children under 16 years in Jamaica can never consent to sex, no matter what. Now this is important when there is a 15 year old, a 14 year old, 13 year old girl, and the boy is 16, 17, 18, 19, going on into his 20s or however old. No matter how much the girl who is under 16 wants to have sex and says that she gives her consent, she cannot give consent to sex. Persons under the influence of alcohol or drug substances cannot consent. Now, this is a gray area for some of you, you might say. You go out partying, you're drinking, all the rest of it. We'll get to that in a moment, but it will make sense. The disabled cannot consent where the disability makes them unable to understand a sex act, form a decision to engage, and communicate the decision. In other words, they have to be of complete and utter sound mind and understanding in order to consent to sex. So, back to the under 16. Sexual intercourse with a child under 16 is rape. You get 15 years to life in prison. This is in Jamaica. The sentence is increased if done by a person in authority. So if it is a teacher, a parent, a guardian, an aunt, an uncle, your sentence will be increased. There is a young man's defense for those men who are under 24 years old. But you must provide proof you thought the person was older than 15, and it has to be your first offense. That's the case sentencing is less. The legal definitions. Now this is very important. In Jamaica, the legal definition of rape, a male penetrating the vagina of a female with his penis without her consent. I know that sounds a bit strange. It means men technically can't be raped, but that comes under another law. This is how it is in Jamaica. We do want it to change, and at the moment, Rape is a penis into a vagina, 15 years to life in prison. Grievous sexual assault. 
What that means is committing or causing non-consensual vaginal or anal penetration, not with a penis. So in other words, an object, your hand, anything that goes into the vagina or the anus without the consent. Non-consensual oral sex. This is really important, especially for young teenagers or teenagers in general. Um, you might seem think that, well, I don't want to have sex because, you know, I'm a bit too young or whatever, but your emotions and your libido are kind of raging and you would like oral sex to be performed on you, performed on you. And you might put pressure on somebody or you might feel that you need to put pressure on somebody and that somebody who is more often thought it's a young girl, she will feel pressure. And people are talking about it and you might feel like, you know, oh well, you know, everybody else is doing it. That is not the case. If you force somebody or you coerce somebody to do that without their consent, right, it is grievous sexual assault. And note that the age limit, right, the age is still 16. So anybody under 16, right, you're really treading in very, very dangerous waters there. So please be very, very careful. Grievous sexual assault, the punishment is 15 years to life in prison. Anal sex. Anal sex is a man's penis into any other person's anus. Consent can never be given by anyone. In this country, it is illegal to have anal sex. Now, of course, we bring in the fact that there is homosexuality. The truth of the matter is, is that what happens in Jamaica is that the majority of people who get caught up on this law and will be arrested for this law are actually men performing anal sex on women because they are using it as a way to rape the woman, but it is a maximum 10 years in prison, which of course is less than the 15 years to life imprisonment if it's rape. So what I'm saying is, is that people are using it as a way to rape people. Those who do have consensual anal sex, which are homosexuality in adults, right? That is consensual, that is a different thing. It is still against the law, but those are not the ones that come up because nobody's reporting them. The point here is, is that it is a form of what you and I might describe as rape, but it's just not a legality in Jamaica as rape. However, there is a prison sentence. So, back to your young people and the, the girlfriend or the boyfriend are you know, having a discussion and she wants to have sex and you've talked about it, right? Or it might even be a case where you're out drinking and you've always liked each other, or you like each other, and she comes back to your room, she wants to have sex, and all the rest of it. But the truth of the matter is, is that consent is what matters here. The understanding of consent, knowing that you can take it back when you want, knowing that those under 16 are not allowed to consent to sex. I'm gonna give you examples, okay? Talking about drinking, that's a great area, I'm sure a lot of, for a lot of you. A couple of drinks is fine, but it's a no if she drinks a bottle of wine. So use your intelligence. If there's slurring of words, if you're feeling happy, if kind of like happy and over happy actually, right? If you have been drinking a lot, chances are everybody else in the room has been drinking a lot, right? So probably best, wait till you're sober the next day, make that decision at that point. Hesitation means turn to masturbation. Sorry guys, but I'm serious about that one. The moment the girl has a slight tear, gets a little bit antsy about something, it means no, okay? Seriously, you do not want to get into trouble. And I'll tell you why. Because the bottom line, especially with social media going around these days, is that you can end up in jail. Think about that. Even if you're not thinking about the respect of somebody else, think about what you want to happen to you. Any form of drug, only give her a hug. You're snorting cocaine, you're taking heroin, you're smoking weed, whatever it is, right? None. If she is doing it, she cannot consent. Do not take that as a consent. Again, social media has taught us that you will, you can't get away with it, so don't try. When tears are shed, the mood is dead. 
If you persuade, your life will fade. The person sentence. You don't want that. And you don't want it on your record. When she says stop or no, it does not mean go. Sexual harassment. So that's a little bit of a, another gray area because we are so used to, from when we were kids in this country growing up, it has been a free for all in Jamaica, a so Jamaica man stay. The truth of the matter is, is that this is also learned by those younger, right? And there is a no tolerance policy now, and we need to respect that. So what is sexual harassment? Unwelcome behavior of a sexual nature, including verbal and or physical advances. It is okay to say hello to somebody. It is okay to give them a hug if they are, if they are showing you the signs. If they're freezing up or if the hug is too long, it's not okay. It's okay to say you look really lovely today. You look very pretty, right? Uninvited and unwelcome verbal or physical behavior of a sexual nature, especially by a person in authority toward a subordinate. subordinate. What that means is there is a line between an adult and a kid. There is a line between somebody in authority and somebody who is your student, somebody who works for you. There is a line. Do not cross it. Do not go for those drinks. Do not go for that dinner by yourself. Right? Do not get too close. Do not stand over them. Do not hug them too. Do, do not hug them, especially in a professional setting. Right? It is very important. Chances are, if you feel slightly uncomfortable, or if you see somebody slightly uncomfortable, that is your sign. Use your human intuition. Sexual innuendos of any kind. No, oh, jigsy, boobalicious, things like that unacceptable because that's where it begins and it is degrading and girls don't stand for it you don't need those kind of compliments compliments about you look nice you look pretty you're beautiful um, you're intelligent you're kind those are the sorts of compliments that are correct things comments about your bodily parts sexual comments about your bodily parts is not appropriate and if you don't stand up against it I promise you it will only get worse it's a slippery slope Religion and culture, respect them, right? So if there are religions and there are cultures where people have to be covered up more, then you need to respect it. Don't say that they're frigid. Don't say that you never get to see their body. You don't even know if they're skinny or fat. Don't say comments like that. It's not appropriate. It's really not necessary. Not okay to say, hey, sweet biscuit, yeah, and sexy. Definitely not. Sexy, yeah. Check out the bump up on that, yeah. Not okay to say. They're funny in one sense, taken out of context. You might think it's funny, but the truth is, is that it's not, because it is a person. And those women who are going <laughs> and giggling and everything, they're actually uncomfortable. Truly, don't take that as a sign that they are okay with it. We have been so programmed now to accept it, and if we don't, we'll be called names like frigging and, and stuck up. The truth of the matter is do not put a woman or a girl in that position. Another thing, I want to do unspeakable things to you. I've had that whispered in my ear. It's not acceptable. Call them out. And as I said, the jugsy, boobalicious, milk jugs, tits, not acceptable. So, back to the complimenting. How would you compliment somebody, as I said? You're nice to them, you're kind to them. You say they look nice, they are nice, that sort of thing. As I said, it has to feel comfortable to you and them, right? In a classroom or in amongst your friends, you could role play the compliment, right? You could see reverse roles. A boy could play a girl and vice versa. Try that. Try and see how it would feel if you were to insult each other, right? And then try being nice to each other about um, one's body. Keep it simple and sweet, as I said, right? So what happens if you're thinking bad thoughts? What would you do? Go and talk to somebody, right? Talk to your guidance counselor at school. Talk to a parent, right? Talk to an adult who you trust, right? Talk to your friends. It's okay, right? Everybody has those thoughts where their libido is running high and they want to do things that 
now that they know they're not really supposed to do, but it's better to talk about it, right? If in doubt, remain quiet. If you make a mistake, what do you do? Again, you go to the adults. You apologize to the person or the people that you have offended. But you go to the adults and you say, help me rectify this. Sometimes when we're young, we don't know how to deal with these situations. And we need to start talking to grown-ups about it. Right? Not so cool to do. Hug, touch, stroke, or pet some without fears. Touch any private part or area of someone without AS. Make sexual gestures of any nature to someone without a yes. Tug on anyone's clothing, snapping bras, comments about PE things, gym shorts, pull down, without a yes. And in fact, you're not going to get a yes for those things, right? Especially where it might expose a private part, right? So be empowered, girls, women, boys be empowered too, right? It's okay to say no at any point. Don't be afraid to say no or stop. Put them in their place, it's unacceptable. Speak up because they are the ones destroying their own lives and yours. And don't be afraid of losing something because you report it. Nothing is as, as important as your voice and dignity. Right? Support others. Stand up and speak up against someone if you see them act or say something a certain way, right? That goes for the boys and the men. You see your friends making comments. You're in the locker room and you're telling these locker room talk that everybody has been talking about. Stop them. Make this unacceptable, right? Stand up and speak up against sexual abuse, assault, harassment, molestation, even if it's your friend or a family member. If you put your status first in that single moment, you lose your dignity forever, right? So please. So there are scenarios, you've talked about it, you're about to do it, but you feel uncomfortable, right? You've allowed them to feel you up, but you want it to stop now. You've told your friends you want to have sex, but you've changed your mind. You're naked, but you've changed your mind. We go all the way back to where we were at the beginning. It is all about consent, and at any point, consent can be revoked. Thank you very much. All right.